Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and this is part 7 of our Learn Lightroom 5 series and in this episode we're going to do a portrait um, retouch with Lightroom 5. Let me stay, say at the top though that typically I don't uh, retouch portraits, uh, portraits with Lightroom 5. I, um, I use Portrait Professional, it's a really great program, um, in Photoshop I use. Um, but Lightroom 5 will do a really good job and um, I'm going to show you how to do it. I might be a little clumsy throughout the video doing it. As I mentioned, I don't usually do portraits with Lightroom 5, but I'll do the best I can and hopefully it'll teach you something and help you redo portraits with Lightroom 5. Um, let me see. You, know, you might remember in previous videos I used uh, pictures of two of my three sons. I had uh, my son Nick in one and my son Joe in another one. And needless to say, that didn't go over very big. They weren't very pleased that I had their picture on the internet and on YouTube. So, um, I mean, just using a picture of my wife would be totally out of the question. I'd be in the doghouse forever uh, for the rest of my natural born life and my natural born life would probably be very short because of that. So I had to scour um, stock photo sites to try to find some portraits. Not surprisingly, um, portraits on stock photo sites are usually retouched already. So it was hard to find um, a portrait that I thought I could you know, show you, demonstrate how to retouch, um, you know, the portrait. Um, but I found this one. Who, I don't know who this person is, but thank you, ma'am, for letting me use your portrait um, or having it up on a stock photo site so I could purchase it and do this. Um, the first thing I usually do to jump right into the uh, portrait retouch is I usually remove any moles and blemishes. Now, um, in this um, case with this lady, there really isn't any. Um, maybe those were retouched already. Um, but the way you would do is you click, it's the um, um, second tool over. I covered this tool in part six of the Learn Lightroom series. Um, so you could check that out for more specifics. But anyways, I have it in heal mode. Um, opacity all the way up and let's say she had a mole right here. You just want to make the brush by hitting the um, left bracket key to make it smaller, right bracket key to make it bigger. You want to make the brush just t a tiny bit bigger than, than the blemish um, or the mole. Hit the command plus key to zoom in. So we want to remove, let's say there's a tiny little mark there. Anyways, you could just click on it. It'll a Lightroom will sample a spot that it thinks is similar. Um, you could move it around by just grabbing it and try to, you know, if you don't like where it's sampled. And if you like where it's sampled, just leave it and you're all set. Okay, so that's that. If she had some moles or blemishes we wanted to get rid of, that's what we would do. Um, the first thing, though, after that that I do is I like to soften the skin. So we go over to the brush tool and um, we're going to have a new brush tool. We're going to uh, reset these, these sliders. You could double click on the effect where it says effect here, just double click. Um, you also could hold the alter option key down and it will say reset. When you do that, you could click on it. Um, excuse me, this drop down here now, there are some portrait um, retouch um, presets. We have iris enhance, soften skin, and teeth whitening. As I mentioned, we're going to soften skin first. Um, as you can see what it did, it turned clarity all the way down and sharpness up uh, slightly. Um, we'll paint it on and see how you like it. Um, and then you could adjust, you know, this. consider this a starting point. If you don't like what it does, uh, adjust the sliders to make it the way you like it. So anyways, you just paint on um, her skin. One thing I didn't show you in previous videos, if you hit the O key, it'll put an overlay down and show you where you painted. Um, the other thing I should mention here is I have a feather flow and density all the way up. I have auto mask on. A lot of people hate it. Um, what auto mask does is you can see my brush here. One thing I got a oh, side trick while I'm thinking of it. The program I use to record these videos when I do a mouse click or I with my Wacom tablet or whatever I click down, um, it'll put a big circle. Or, or a circle around where I did. That's not part of Lightroom. That's part, as you probably noticed, that's part of the recording program so you could see where I click. So right now um, the um, 
brush in Lightroom has two circles. It has the center circle, it has the plus, a, cent a center circle, and an outer circle. Um, when you have masking on, it tends to not bleed over um, into areas that you're not painting. So like her clothing, I'm just painting her skin here so it won't bleed over in her, um, in her clothing. A lot of people hate auto mask um, because basically it's it's just wrong sometimes it makes mistakes or it does it does a weird feathering uh, sometimes that people don't like so um, it's your own preference if you don't want auto mask on leave it off it's you're gonna get the same effect you just the way you work uh, might be better for you so anyways we don't want to get this effect though as I was alluding to on anything but her skin so we don't want it on her hair we don't want it on her teeth we don't want it on her the background lips anything like that so anywhere you made a mistake if you hold the alt or option key on it turns the brush into a minus and it's an eraser now so we're gonna erase over her eyebrows we don't want the effect on her eyebrows we're gonna uh, make sure it's not anywhere on her eyes so we're gonna erase all this we don't want it on this oops we don't want it on this uh, on her hair over here so we're gonna try to erase this here a little bit okay and get over here we don't want it on the, her, her lips at all so get it off her lips okay hit the O key to turn the overlay, overlay off and you could see there's the effect. Um, I'm gonna hit this switch over here it turns it on and off that's the before and that's the after. Now you can see to me that's a little strong. Um, so I'm just gonna bring clarity back a little bit to around you know 75. Even that's a touch strong but we'll leave it there just so we could you know Anyways, that's fine. Um, the next thing you want to do is you could do her eyes or her teeth. Um, let's do her eyes. So we're going to do a new brush. And we're going to um, reset the sliders by double clicking on effect. We're going to do a, the drop down and we're going to do iris enhance. We're going to zoom in by hitting command plus twice. Hold the space bar down. It turns the cursor into a little hand and we could position this around her iris. Now what you want to do is you want to make the center circle of the brush just slightly smaller than her iris. And you just want to paint over her iris. Now you can see the, uh, the effect is very very subtle. Um, let's hold the space bar down, move over to her other eye, do her other eye. Okay, now um, what this brush did, the preset did, it brought exposure up to 0.35 and it brought saturation up to 40. Um, in her eyes, because her eyes are so dark to begin with, um, I'm going to bring the exposure up a little more to like plus 0.64. I'm going to hit command minus twice to zoom back out. Um, we're going to turn, turn it off when I hit this switch here it's going to turn her skin off too but you could look at her eyes that's before and that's after see it just enhanced her eyes slightly next thing her, we'll do is her teeth uh, so let's hit new let's reset everything by holding the alter option key in hit reset or you could double click that you go down and we're gonna do teeth whitening now her teeth are super white anyways I mean she doesn't need this but for the sake of showing it um, you know hit command uh, plus to zoom in, hit it twice. Let's zoom down, or excuse me, drag it over to her teeth. Um, again, you don't want this effect anywhere but her teeth, so avoid her gums, avoid her lips. And as you could see, it's, uh, it's obviously painting white on her teeth. If you look over at the preset area there, um, at the sliders you could see it's brought exposure up and saturation down so if her teeth were actually yellow um, having the saturation down would um, remove some of that yellow 
um, effect and having it the exposure up just of course makes them whiter so we're minus out or command minus out again um, I'll hit this this switch but it's going to turn all the brushes off but you can see that's her teeth before and that's after um, I could hit the Y key also and it will show a before and after this is before we'd started any retouching and this is where we stand so far we whitened her teeth brightened up her irises and uh, softened her skin um, hit the Y key again, bring us back to here. Um, the other thing is um, you could bring some detail into her lips. Um, this is very popular with retouchers. So we're going to um, new a new brush. You could reset it. What we're going to do here is we're going to bring clarity up uh, quite a bit to 60, 70, and bring sharpness up quite a bit. We could always back these off if they proved to be too strong. Okay, so we could just uh, get the brush so it's for her lips and you're just going to paint this effect on her lips. Okay, so you can see that looks pretty ridiculous. So, bring clarity down. And bring sharpness down just a touch too. Okay, and if we hit the Y key again, we could see her lips before and after. It just added a little more uh, clarity to her uh, lips. Next thing I want to do is I want to bring some highlights out in her hair. So we're going to do another new brush, and we're going to reset everything by double clicking the effect. And the way we're going to do this is we're just uh, going to increase the contrast just a little bit around 20 to 30 and we're going to increase the highlights to around 40 to 50 and we're going to bring the clarity up just a touch maybe around 20 and again we could readjust these later so we're going to paint over her hair and it her hair is dark to begin with without a lot of highlights so it's not going to do a ton, but it's going to make it, you know, a little, little more uh, in my mind. If I hit the Y key, as you could see, this the before and after, it just enhanced her hair a little bit. And um, you know, that's um, pretty much it. I mean, a lot of retouchers. I'm for the maybe I'll show you for the sake of showing. They like to uh, make the eyebrows a little more clear and the eyelashes a little cl more clear. Again, you do that with this brush. You just uh, you want a new one. Double click new effect, and you want to bring um, clarity up. You can get start around 50 if you don't like it. Move them around. You can bring sharpness up. We're gonna make the brush smaller by hitting the left bracket key makes it smaller and you can just go over her eyebrows like that I think that's clarity is a little too strong bring it back a little bit I mean she's starting to look like a man with those they get too dark and um, you know that's um, that's, I think, it as far as her skin, eyes, teeth. Her teeth are actually, in my mind, too white, but I did it to demonstrate the, uh, the effect. The last thing uh, you might want to do is, um, and I haven't talked about this in previous videos, is you could add a, um, a vignette. Now, typically, though, I, I added vignettes in, in the past with this effects um, tab. And you could do that. That does a decent job. What a lot of people like to do, and I do too, especially when she's off-centered, her face isn't right bullseyed in the middle of the picture, is you could use this tool here. This is the radial filter tool. And um, zoom out. No, okay. Uh, you could uh, draw in from it from the center of her face. You know what? Uh, I forgot to reset it. Now you could see what it did here is because clarity is is turned up so I'll reset it now but that's fine um, what we want to do is we want to bring exposure down 
See what it does is it keeps her relatively bright but brings the exposure down around her. And uh, make it a little bigger. And yeah, that's good, I guess. I don't know what I did here. This was probably when I was doing the brush tool, um, which was this one. Yeah, see, I spilled over. See the effect it did? So I hit O, put the overlay back on. I could hit the um, Alt key and erase it because that looked horrible when I put that radio filter on. So hit the O key again to get rid of that. Close down the brush. I could hit the Y, and you could see the before and after. Um, as I mentioned, uh, the the teeth are way overdone. Her teeth were white to begin with. I just did it to demonstrate um, what you could do with the teeth. Um, one thing actually we could do that I didn't do is we could soften some of the lines of her face, and the um, I demonstrated this in part six when I talked about the um, the uh, spot removal tool. And what we'll do is um, you go into the spot removal tool. You have it in heal mode. Mode. You put the opacity down to in the 30s. And you can make the brush just a little bigger. And you want to paint like where those lines are under her eyes. Now Lightroom sampled way over here. Typically, you want to sample right on her cheek. So just move it somewhere on her cheek. Okay. You hit the um, the H key to hide it, to hide the sampling areas, those circles and everything. And you could turn the effect off right here. This is before. Look at her, her left eye. This is after. See, it just softened those lines a little bit. And turn, hit the H key again, turn those lines back on. Right, now, we could do this one. Sampled way up here. We don't want that. We have a sample from her cheek. And then we want to do these lines over here, these little crow's feet. And we'll sample from there. Okay, we'll hide those lines. Okay, now this is before, after. You can see it's subtle, but it did the job. And we hit the Y key again, and we're back out. Now, um, again, that's bother. Her teeth are bothering me because they're way too bright. But as I mentioned, I used that just to demonstrate. Um, but that's uh, how you could do a portrait. See, we softened her skin nicely. We softened some of these lines. Um, under her eyes and the crow, crow's foot around her left eye, um, whitened her skin, um, added more detail to her lips, added more detail to her eyebrows, added highlights to her hair. It only took a few minutes. It wasn't very hard to do at all. Um, so that's it. Uh, that's, you know, to get you started, how you could um, uh, do a portrait in Lightroom 5. And um, I hope it helps. Um, Guys, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the videos on YouTube, uh, to my channel. It's Anthony Morganti. Um, visit my website. I try to add stuff every day on uh, articles and videos on photography. Um, and um, give me some feedback. Um, uh, I want to do more Lightroom videos. I'm not really sure what else to do at this point. Um, as far as the develop module, I still have these other modules. I have plans to do library, the map, and, and, and so on. Um, but if there's, you have any questions, if anything's um, uh, confusing to you, just uh, send me an email through my website, through YouTube, get a hold of me somehow. I'd be happy to do a video on something you're, you want to learn. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, uh, drop me an email. I'll answer your question through the email best I can. Um, again, uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, to the videos and thanks for visiting the website. I really appreciate everyone's support. Um, until our next video, take care.